Let's start by assuming that omega is a complex cube root of unity. Therefore, omega is equal to minus half plus i times root 3 upon 2 and omega square is equal to minus half minus i times root 3 upon 2. We know that 1 plus omega plus omega square is equal to 0 and omega cube is equal to 1. Now we are given that 1 plus x plus x square whole raised to the power n is equal to a0 plus a1x plus a2x square plus and so on. Now if we set x is equal to omega on both sides, we get 1 plus omega plus omega square whole raised to the power n is equal to a0 plus a1 omega plus a2 omega square plus a3 omega cube plus a4 omega raised to the power 4 plus a5 omega raised to the power 5 plus a6 omega raised to the power 6 plus and so on. Now the left hand side is equal to 0 and on the right hand side omega cube is equal to 1 omega raised to the power 4 is equal to omega omega raised to the power 5 is equal to omega square omega raised to the power 6 is again equal to 1 and so on. Therefore, this equation becomes 0 is equal to a0 plus a1 omega plus a2 omega square plus a3 plus a4 omega plus a5 omega square plus a6 plus a7 omega plus a8 omega square plus and so on. We therefore get 0 is equal to, on the right hand side, collecting the coefficients of terms independent of omega, a0 plus a3 plus a6 plus and so on, plus collecting the coefficients of terms involving omega, we get plus omega times in brackets a1 plus a4 plus a7 plus and so on, and finally, on the right hand side, collecting terms involving omega square and so we get plus omega square times in brackets a2 plus a5 plus a8 plus and so on. Now on the right hand side if we denote the expression in the first bracket by alpha, the expression in the second bracket by beta and the expression in the third bracket by gamma, this can be written as alpha plus beta omega plus gamma omega square is equal to 0. Substituting the value of omega and omega square, this becomes alpha plus beta times in brackets minus half plus i times root 3 upon 2 plus gamma times in brackets minus half minus i times root 3 upon 2 is equal to 0. This can be written as alpha minus beta upon 2 minus gamma upon 2 which are the real terms plus i times root 3 upon 2 times in brackets beta minus gamma is equal to 0. Equating the real and imaginary parts on both sides we get alpha minus beta upon 2 minus gamma upon 2 is equal to 0 and root 3 upon 2 times in brackets beta minus gamma is equal to 0. Second equation implies that beta is equal to gamma. Using this in the first equation we get alpha is equal to beta upon 2 plus gamma upon 2 which is equal to beta upon 2 plus beta upon 2 because gamma is equal to beta and therefore alpha is equal to beta. Therefore, alpha is equal to beta is equal to gamma. Now we are given that 1 plus x plus x square whole raised power n is equal to a0 plus a1x plus a2x square plus and so on. Put x is equal to 1 on both sides. We get 3 raised to the power n is equal to a0 plus a1 plus a2 plus and so on. 
this can be rewritten as 3 raised power n is equal to a0 plus a3 plus a6 plus and so on in brackets plus a1 plus a4 plus a7 plus and so on in brackets and finally plus a2 plus a5 plus a8 plus and so on in brackets. On the right hand side the expression in the first bracket is equal to alpha, the expression in the second bracket is equal to beta and the expression in the third bracket is equal to gamma. Therefore 3 raised power n is equal to alpha plus beta plus gamma which is equal to 3 alpha and therefore alpha is equal to 3 raised power n minus 1 which is also the value of beta and gamma. Therefore a0 plus a3 plus a6 plus and so on which is equal to alpha is equal to a1 plus a4 plus a7 plus and so on which is equal to beta is equal to a2 plus a5 plus a8 plus and so on which is equal to gamma and all three are equal to 3 raised power n minus 1 which is the required result.